Oh, I've got a question here. How to permanently keep a man who wants sex or a woman who wants attention? Wow. A man who wants sex. A woman who wants attention? What sort of planet are these men and women from? Um, women, what I've found is women love sex just as much as men do, if not more. But society has these rules of saying, well, you can't really talk about it because you'll be, you know. If a woman goes out and nails 10 dudes on the weekend, she gets judged unfairly. If a man does that, he's the boss. Other women are going to be like, hmm, how do you get 10 chicks? Hmm, what's, what's so good about him, you know? Curiosity peaked. So often women have to suppress their sexual desires and urges, and men can be... But then again, we're in the me to post me Too era, you know, a lot of times men have to be a little bit more, like, very, very careful. So, and then women have to be a bit more open and more aggressive, because men be like, oh, if I touch her on the shoulder, will she call the cops, or will she... You know, leave a bad Google review for me if I just ask on a date. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Women, if you want men, quality men, if you want alpha men, you have to be the aggressor. Right? You have to be giving them green light, green light, green light. You have to be, this is, you know, post Me Too era. Right? This is where a man, you know, I mean, look at what's happened to me. You know, imagine if I didn't keep all those emails and screenshots and stuff. You know, so, you, you know, these days, men are recording interactions, they're doing screenshots, and they should, all men, you should screenshot and record everything, because you never know what can happen down the track. It's just, you could be in prison, you know, screenshot, record. And same thing for women, you should screenshot and record, so if you make, make a claim, just take it more seriously, uh, and vice versa. Um, how to give a man who wants sex? Learn how to please the man, that man, not a man, that man. If you, the, the man you want in your life, learn how to please him aggressively. And then you will always be in his mind. Same thing for women. Um, a woman who wants attention. Men, learn what attention that woman craves and must have every day. And she will always think about you. You'll be like, you'll be able to meet her attention needs like no one else. And that could be, phys that is physical attention and emotional attention and spiritual attention and nutritional attention. Women love good food. Feed women and then fruit of your labor will come through. Um, that's this rally there. Let's go to the next question. This is actually from uh, these are uh, some great, great questions here. This is another question here. Do you think I should continue my relationship with someone who cheated on me? Um, you know, would, should you stay in a relationship? It depends. It depends on the context. You know, it depends on the context. Like, um, it depends on the context, you know. Now, for some people, like, I remember I had a girlfriend one time, and I was over in Europe, and she, like, she kissed some guy. She said, she, maybe she, maybe they did, but who cares, whatever, you know. I didn't really care too much about that, but I used that as a way to get out of a relationship, you know. Cause I didn't really feel we were compatible. She wasn't in the cycling, and you know, she was sort of part time vegan. She was a great girl, you know, she was a really, really good girl. Um, but I just didn't feel like it was, you know, it was going to last. You know, I was too militant on what I want in a relationship. You know, even though this girl was really, really nice, and you know, she was great in band, and she was attractive, and she was feminine, it just didn't have the, the longevity for me. You know, she wasn't really, you know, there for me. Um, not, not there for me, there for me, but like. You know, she didn't have, she wasn't a cyclist. You know, she, she would try things for me, but it wasn't really her. And so it just, and that was fantastic. She tried, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't who I really wanted to be with long term because it just, it wasn't going to work. Um, so, but if she was really ticking all my boxes, I'd be like, you have a bit of fun, whatever, cool, no worries. You know, I'll have a bit of fun too. It's all good. We, you know, we love each other. We're our team and you can maybe go off here and there and whatever. Cool with it, no worries. Um, because I don't believe you should trap someone, not trap them, I don't think you should cage someone in a cage that would have been. If someone wants to see other people and you're happy with that, then it's fine. If they don't, then then stop the relationship. You know what I mean? It's not for you. Just be friends. It's not going to work. You, know? you don't want to bend someone into someone they don't want to be. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have... Why not find someone who's into what you're into? Put in the work. You know, Put in the work to do that. This screen just died. There's another question. Just pause me for a second. And, and the next one was... <coughs> should a player be played? You know, 
this dating thing's just a big game. It's not a game. It's, you know, I guess it is a game. But it depends what sort of game you're trying to play. Like, there can be games in life where you're trying to just like smash someone. You're trying to, it's like Monopoly, you're trying to bankrupt someone, you're trying to put them in jail. So well, that's just, yeah, that's just, that's no fun really. That's just like toxic shit. And then there's a game of like, like having fun. Like you both enjoy what you're doing. It's like a game of handball, you know? That's a game and that can be fun and people don't get too hurt. So it depends what sort of game you're playing. Um, but if you, if you want a guy who's monogamous, you know, who only wants to be with you, chances are most women I'll find won't be satisfied with that guy. They'll, that, that guy will be Mr. Boring. That will be Mr. Guy with not many options. <laughs> that, that's Mr. Dependable. And then women have that, and they go batshit crazy and bored, and then they go and fuck Mr. Exciting. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. So women dance up and down. I want Mr. Dependable. I want Mr. Loyal. And then they find that, and then he's boring, and then they go and fuck Mr. Exciting. And like, oh, it was the alcohol. Oh, I was ovulating. I don't. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't have sex with Duranida. No, I didn't, Michael. I didn't. <laughs> Michael goes and makes five-part documentary about me. That's just how it is. You know. So I've learned how to be Mr. Exciting and Mr. Dependable. Meet your needs. Meet your needs, guys, of your women. Um, you know. But even then, if someone said, oh, "I want more," go out and get it. Fine. Fine with me. I'll go out and get it as well. You know, and that can be mutual. But if you do want Mr. Dependable, then you can't go around looking for Mr. Exciting. You know, oh, I wish you a bit more exciting. <laughs> it's like women are going, I'm, I'm trying to find a guy, there's this guy I like, and I, I, like, I waved at him. Great. You know, I'll send him a message on message. Great. And I read the message, and it's like, how you going? <laughs> it's like, what? Like, you, you got to be more aggressive with men, women. Women, you got to be more aggressive. Because the men you want, are the ones who have a lot of women chasing them around. You know? Women don't want guys who don't get attention from women. They don't. But then women don't want guys who go and bang other women. But then again, women would rather share an alpha than be committed to a beta. Right? That's just the reality. Um, they'd rather share an alpha than be committed with a beta loser. Simple as that. Simple as that. <laughs> now what women, a lot of women do is they will commit to a beta loser who pays their way, um, you know, and then they'll, when they're away, they'll go and, you know, fuck Mr. Alpha and Mr. Exciting. Simple as that. That's why I tell guys, never ever pay a woman's way. I've spent maybe 50 bucks on Natasha in the last three years. Now, she's a girl who could make easily 10, 15 grand a night if she was working in Tokyo or Monaco or um, New York or LA. She just could. Australian, gorgeous, 22 year old, 5 foot 10, you know, 15 to 7 kilos, man. All the right assets and the, and the right moves, 10, 15 grand USD a night. Easy, easy. You know, so and I've spent 50 bucks on her in the last three years. And I'm a 43 year old dude, skinny, average looking, you know, bad Google reviews, <laughs> whatever, you know. That's game. That's serious level game. Um, and, uh, and that's confidence. So, and that's understanding women. You know? Now, I'm always out there to learn more. I'm always out there to learn more. I do not ever say I know it all when it comes to to women or game or whatever. I think it's not even game. It's, I call it relationship studies. You know, it's understand. It's being who you are, and so women can who are into that can be really be into it versus being some guy you're not. And the girls like, I smell bullshit. You know, be who you are, unashamedly. And girls who like it will be like, <sighs> and the girls who don't will be like, mm. and that's fine. Right? It's fine if you want. You know, I don't want to be red lentil dal, red lentil dal, and inside be an orange. <laughs> what's in, what's inside is inside. Dal. I want dal. I want dal. I don't want an orange. When I want orange, I don't want dal. Be the orange or be the dal. If you're an orange, be an orange. If you're dal, be dal. So people who want that can find you and be you and enjoy you and savor you. I want to keep you. So that's the reality. You have to be what you want to attract, and you got to be clear. Like I, I mean, these. These women out there, these men out there, these people out there are delusional. They're like, I, I want a girl who's like, hasn't been with a lot of guys, and then they're like, oh, she's not that good in bed. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what? And then they're like, the women are like, oh, like, I, I want a guy, no more fuck boys for me, I want a guy who's dependable, and they find it, and they're just bored out of their head. 
They're pouring out of their head. You know, and I'm like, and? <laughs> so it's like, you, you got to understand what you want, man. People want everything for nothing, don't they? We, we want, as humans, we want maximum result for least effort. Um, and that's all of it. That's just human nature. Preserve calories. So, yeah, be clear what you want. Um, or just, you know. And, and, then, and then ask yourself, is that even a reality? Is that even a reality? You know? The, the more you want, the more you have to be able to deliver as well. Like, if you're a girl or a guy and you want an alpha girl or an alpha guy, you know what I mean? Like, for the average dude to hook a chick like Natasha, not just for a night, that'd be, you know, depends on the, on the moment, but to keep her for three years, three full-time years, living together, and you know, not paying anything for her, you know what I mean? To keep a woman like that in your life who's got, you know, DMs and just all these offers all the time, to keep someone like that, you know, you have to you know, know what you want and know how to meet the needs. Um, if you don't, then it's like, bye-bye, association, finito. And same with women out there, like, oh, I want a guy, and I'm like, well, you've got to meet his sexual needs, you know what I mean? And if those sexual needs are too full-on for you, that's that's okay, that is okay. Move on. Set him free. See ya, you know what I mean? If he wants to do things that you're just like, no, nah, it's too risky, I don't like that, it's not my thing, you know, then don't do that, you know? But also don't complain that that person's out of your life. But there's a fine line there. I'm not into, you know, hurting you always preserve your health you know but um you know you gotta also <laughs> men preserve your money women preserve your health all right preserve your sanity and preserve your money as well but it's, it's just crazy but that people want oh, you know oh, people are scared of getting rejected you know they're scared of really giving because like what if i give this person they reject me or what if you give this person what if you don't give this person? Then you're definitely going to get rejected, aren't you? You're not going to get what you want. You know what I mean? That's one thing that I've learned is I have zero fear of rejection. I have zero failure of success. You know? If I want something, I'll put in all the effort to get the outcome. And if I get it or not, you know, if you, and if you're dealing with someone else, another human, then yeah, it's, it's, it might not happen. Chances are it won't happen. Because it's not like... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip this box into seven pieces. That's pretty easy. But if you're dealing with another human, you got their ego, you got their hormones, you got their beliefs, you got their family pressure, you got social, you got money, you got all these things you gotta deal with. So you, to to expect you're gonna have a success rate 100 percent of the time, if you get one percent success rate, you're doing good because you're dealing with another human. And there's all these little facets there. So to have fear of rejection is stupid. Because you're gonna get rejected anyway. You know, it's like saying, I wanna be a surfer, but I'm really scared of getting wet. Like, I'm scared of like a wave, like a little two foot wave. Like, I wanna be like a, a big wave surfer, but I'm scared of a two foot wave. You know what I mean? I want this guy to notice me, I want it, this girl to notice me, but I'm scared of rejection. You know? <laughs> so, it's, it's this crazy, well, I'm scared to like, share with someone my inner secrets because they might make fun of me or whatever and it's like well if they do then good good for you good for you because now you realize that person isn't worth investing any more of your time in and like i always say you can always make more money money is easy to make look at bitcoin there's so many ways to make money flipping stuff whatever but getting more time back if you lose time you don't get it back you can only learn from the mistakes there so if, if you do give everything and a person doesn't want that or they do whatever you let great that's the best thing ever because you don't have to spend another day or hour or minute investing like you used to you can totally withdraw you need to be friends depends on the situation blah 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 don't hold a grudge they will just chew you up and aid you in a bad way we all get older but if you're getting older with a stress face angry whew, that's going to lower your market value a lot a lot Sexual market value lowered a lot because it was stressful. You know, alpha guys see a woman of that sort of face, so ooh, whoa, don't look at her. Don't look, don't even look at her, bro, because you might get a SWAT team coming over. He looked at me. <laughs> and, and same with some guys, their temper's crazy. Women's like, I don't want to go near him. He's, he, he looks aggressive, he looks dangerous, he looks violent. You know, so your face can repel people. 
Um, regardless if you've got a, a fit or attractive body, if your face looks all psychoed out, Botox and fillers and all sorts of stuff, man, it's like red flag for me, red flag for me. Red flag for alpha guys who can provide and, and give and, and learn and teach and the, you know, the guys that women want. Just sniff. Those guys, we have experience, women. We have experience. So as soon as we see you, we can read you straight out, just as you read us, just as you read us. Um, so if you're flying all these red flags, how's that going to help you? you know? How's that going to help you? So my tip out there for women is be clear on what you want and also learn how to, to please a man like that, you know, just as you want to be pleased. Right? Just as you want to be pleased, learn how to be feminine and drain. You drain a man's head, then it's like, I don't want to be here. You drain the right head of a man, he wants to be there. Simple as that. You know? so, <laughs> it, it, it's like no man I've ever met wants to have, co sane man, conflict with a woman. Never. No man wants to be nagged and reminded of his mum. No man on earth I've ever met. No man, that, any woman would, would want that either. To be nagged and, yeah, oh, the old lady. Yeah. No man. Men do not want that emotional drain. They just don't. Um, any quality man would not want that. They want the other head drained. Simple as that. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just how it is. Like a cat wants to have its little fish bowl and a little purrs and a little lap time and a little, you know, tickle, tickle. This is what cats want. Oh, this cats are disgusting. They're fairy and yeah. <laughs> that's, you know, this is how it is. The sun wants to, to shine. <laughs> Women want love, affection, attention. They want a boyfriend, a friend, a fuckboy, a mentor, an alpha, a provider. You know, they want all these things. So if you can't provide that, then... And learn. And, and what women want can be different for the next woman. But in general, it's all the same. And with men, it's general, it's all the same. So it's about finding someone who's... You, know, you can deliver to them easily because you've got your experience up, you've got your apprenticeship up. And I tell women and women, just you, you can't have too much experience. You, know? you can never have too much experience. And people, I see, I met, I met this woman one time, and she had, you know, she had been married. She only had one boyfriend, and she's you know, quite an attractive lady, and very confident. I was like, wow, this girl's you know, pretty cool. And uh, we got talking and hanging out a bit more, and then she was like, oh, I'm scared of getting hurt again, and I'm so, like, oh, you know. What I mean? So instantly for me, that was like mad red flag. I'm just like, oh, you know, you just, and, that, and that's fine to be like that, but that's not fine to live like that for you. You know what I mean? You, you, not only are you hurting yourself by living in the past and going, oh, yeah, you're also pushing away people who are more optimistic and who are like go-getters, you know what I mean? You're missing out on some fun times or some lessons here because you're so like living in the past. Oh, no, 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 no. So, oh man, and when she said that, I was like, wow, like, that's fair enough, but my whole vision of her, my whole attraction and appeal was just like, just turned off, like, within, within seconds, you know, it, it like, semi-permanently turned off, even though she's a very attractive lady, very sexy, and, and quite confident on the outside, once we dug a few layers back, I was like, ooh, you know, I was, I was just thinking, like, when I left, I wrote off, I left it maybe even 10 minutes so this is no go. Um, you know, I left within ten minutes, yeah, wishing her well, but I was just thinking, man, like people really, people, man, people make their life really tough, don't they? they? Make it really, really tough. Life's gonna be tough. Like, why make it tougher? Why make it tougher? Yeah, why make it tougher? It's uh, life's so tough, man. Life's so tough. It's so harsh. So unforgiving. It's so bitter. It can be. Why make it more harsh? more unforgiving, more bitter by being that unto yourself and others. You know, holding grudge, just, durr, durr, durr. why? You know, it's so, oof, it's, a, it's an ugly way to live. It's a poor way, there's so many good things in life to, to focus on, to, to get involved with, and you, you choose the bad stuff. It's like, what? <laughs> it's like walking out of the supermarket looking for moldy fruit. And you pick it up and you take it to the manager. This, look, at this, look at this moldy mandarin, look at this. And you spend an hour there protesting at the cashier. I want, I want something done about this. And you're calling people up, calling health services. Yeah, yeah. And some people do that, man. You know, what I mean? 
and, I, and, and I, me, I'm walking through the supermarket on my phone doing business and texts and all this sort of stuff and emails and I'm looking for deals and like, this fruit's good, no, this fruit's not good, or this rice is really good. And, you know, I'm just looking for the good stuff and I'm in and out, you know, done. Back to normal, you're yeah, back to what I've got to do. You know? So it's just your life, your choice, what you want to do in life. You know, that's, uh, that's just a rally right there. Um, but yeah, like, if you want to keep someone in your life, learn how to meet their needs better than anyone else ever can, better than anyone else ever has, by asking what do you want, you know, and as long as that's within what you want to do, you know, then don't do what you don't want to do, do what's in your nature, you know, do what's in your nature, and then there's times that you might be tired, okay, you might be like, oh, does it feel so good, that's when you test what you're really worth, you know, what you're capable of, all right, if you only give in your relationship on the days you feel like giving it, only, or only when I'm horny, or only when I'm happy, or only, then you have a really poor quality relationship. A quality relationship is about giving to your partner and yourself on days you don't want to do that. You know, oh, that's, and you, Facebook's full of blue pill beaters and me too nose ring crew, you know, just like, it's like, <laughs> I would not want to be in a relationship with you, dude. Or do that? No way! No way! See what I mean? Like, who's and who's whose agenda or whose belief system are you living? Are you living your parents? Are you living like one of those Me Too chicks from Hollywood, the LA starlets? Where are those women for the real people out there who are really getting raped in India and all these you know, you know legit cases? Not a prostitute who goes to Harvey Weinstein looking for a modeling career. And he grabs her and she feels, oh my god, I feel violated. I mean, I do this for a job, but it's like, I feel violated. You know, like the real victims out there. Where are the where are these Me Too LA styles and then, you know, it's like, or do they just too busy cashing in on Harvey Weinstein's wealth? It's, it's crazy. And all it's doing is the legit victims out there don't get the attention they need. They don't get the coverage they need. They don't get the money. They don't get the, anything they need. These LA starlet drug addicts. Men and women, you know, just getting all the, the more narcissistic attention. It's crazy. You can't talk about this because it's like, yeah. But this is just real life, all right? This is real life. And I want to give people the real truth. I want to have people have a great quality of life. And you can only have a great quality of life when you really raw communicate with yourself and other people in a respectful, and honest, open, caring way. All right? Understand what someone's needs are. Meet them. And if you don't want to meet them, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't take it personally when they're like, hmm, what's over there? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just, oh, man. It's okay to get the sleep and rest you need. It's okay to get the, all the carbs you need, all the carbs you want to have. It's okay to get all the sex and love and attention you want. All right? Give yourself these things. So put yourself in situations where you can get that. You think I'm going to live in an area where there's no fruit? <laughs> You think I'm going to be in a relationship with a woman who who doesn't want to meet my sexual needs and, and vice versa? No. You think I'm going to be in a situation where I feel unsafe or like someone's going to nag and yeah, be on my back all day? No. You know, like, you think I'm going to be somewhere there's no water or no sun or nowhere I can ride my bike? No. It's your life. It's your choice. All right. Work hard every day at your goals, at being the person you want to attract. And just get rid of the self pierce <laughs> Or just accept you're going to have a really poor quality life because you don't want to put the work in emotionally and be present and be grateful. You know, being feminine as a woman, being masculine as a man, and being grateful. Being grateful for every day, being grateful for everything you have in your life. Learning the good things. Whatever bad thing happens to you, there's always a good thing that happens as well out of that. You know, maybe you paid some money out of it. Maybe you met someone. Maybe you've become a better person by this. Or maybe you, you, know, you had some insight. There's always something better there. And yeah, that's the video. Just uh, you know, learn how to get experience. Get experience and enjoy getting experience. If you're, if you're out there to get experience and you feel rejected or hurt or burned or... Oh, man, like, what are you doing? You know, I say it in a nice way. Like, what are you doing though? Like, what are you doing? It's like going out to... Surf and you're like, oh, there's a two foot wave, but bump me. It bumped me. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Why do you care about that? Good. 
You want a six foot wave to come and crash you, man. Learn. You know, become a better surfer, become more wiser reading the water. Don't become bitter. Don't be a surfer standing on the edge of the shore going, look at that wave. That wave's going to, it's a shore break. It's going to dump me in a senior year. It's a real nasty wave. <laughs> in the Facebook group, oh, I was in the beach, Southport. That wave's really nasty. <laughs> Fuck. Nose ring, blue hair, tats incoming. Anyway, that's the deal. Last short, live it.